Every community is unique. Every community has some uh, aspects of it that are unique to that particular culture. And, you know, obviously Isla Vista is unique because it's a youthful community. It's comprised of more than 60, 70 percent students um, and me. I live in Isla Vista. And so it's very age specific, and with that comes all of the culture, uh, Isla Vista culture, you know, youth, celebration, party. Um. The Vista Master Plan is essentially a vision document that was developed over the last 10 years by Isla Vista community members to set a vision and establish some broad policy goals for improvements to Isla Vista. And those include everything from uh, sidewalk infill projects to uh, establishing a stronger downtown business community. How it gets implemented, I think, has a lot of possibility. I don't think I don't think it's just what the master plan says is the way it goes. There's a lot of um, wiggle room in there, and that's where the students and the community could step in and really have a voice. I had been coming to. Uh, IV Bakery, this used to be Isla Vista Bakery for many years. I've been here since 92. And I always thought how, you know, art or aesthetics could actually improve business or improve the environment. Well, I'm a faculty in the area that I now call spatial studies. Part of what interested me about um, tying this in, tying in Fresh Start as a project into a class was dealing with broader spatial issues um, that include um, community development, urban planning, uh, that goes just beyond object making and how uh, people and objects function in the world. Fall of 2007, we, uh, uh, David Jurist, uh, who is also a professor and an artist, actually team taught the class with me that first quarter and we had about 20 students who actually developed um, models and schematic proposals for what would be done to the bakery. So it, the first quarter only got to the stage of uh, proposal, both 2D drawing and graphics and 3D models. At that point, we brought in the new owners, and they looked at all the projects, and they were very um, excited and very encouraged by what the students had come up with. And at that moment sort of agreed that they would work with the students. Projects like this in Eclectic and right. what might happen at Silver Greens, what might happen at Sam's to go. So to try and retain personality. Yeah, so each, each building that has a unique style. It doesn't turn into downtown Santa Barbara or it doesn't turn into a strip mall in Santa Maria. But here in Isla Vista, there's a kind of informality, there's a, there's a real lack of understanding of what what is Isla Vista in terms of a artistic, cultural um, identity. It just seemed like a, um, uh, a critical moment for students to be working in Isla Vista on the main street in downtown. One of the students said the other night that we just want, you know, you're just bringing in big commercial, like, I don't know, Gap or Urban Outfitters. There is not a space here physically large enough to house one of those. I feel a lot of the people who are in charge of the master plan are countering how we feel about the master plan with these kind of lies. Um, when they say that big businesses couldn't come here, that isn't true. Um, we already have two chain stores, so there's definitely room for more. 
and especially with rent prices going up, the only thing that could afford expensive rents would be a chain store. The community wants to have community serving commercial. You can't restrict national chains from coming in to a community. There's, there's, there's legislation about that. You can't prohibit that. Essentially, um, drive out all local business except one or two extremely successful ones which have a sort of cult following in the area whereas other businesses that are just sort of uh, teetering on the edge between profitability and not profitability um, may not survive. Prime example once again Giovanni's, El Sitio's and Sick Pack they are like dying right now. I went and talked to the owner of Giovanni's the other day and he probably lost 60 or 70 percent of his business. I mean it used to be packed during the afternoons. I only, every time I walk into work, I see about like three or four people in there. That's it, eating. And it's maybe the construction people. But it's like, right now, they're just killing the small businesses. And they're, and they're preaching to us last night, we're here to help out the small businesses and the community. They haven't went as far as trying to alert the public like they're supposed to. What the master plan is proposing are a series of projects that will do a couple things. One of them, I hope, is to create some stability in the business community that exists downtown. There's been about 13 businesses that have turned over in the last two years, and it's just really not a sustainable business environment. You know, if you really want to support Isla Vista's downtown businesses, we need to make it, you know, a viable place for them to operate and be able to make enough money to stay open and, and prosper. Well, I've been to a lot of meetings with master plans, yeah, so uh, actually a lot of the stuff didn't go through, but downtown part all looks like it's, you know, we started it a couple months ago and it's going to go for another three, four months. Uh, I don't think it's going to change much, uh, but it's going to be cleaner and it's going to be neater. Uh, you know, IV is IV. People every know where they're going to go, so they don't go somewhere because the street is prettier, so. Well, I think it basically was a waste of money because they're going to just repave the street, basically. But, you know, who is to decide, so. There's, there's some sense now that someone else did the master plan. The master plan was done by the community. Uh, a group of students and myself um, participate in a uh, discussion group called colloquially Fight the Master Plan. This is a product of the community. The goal of the Fight the Master Plan group is that the vision of the plan matches the vision of the community. And right now, there is, it's not matching. It was created here um, by <laughs> the students. Students change every four years. So, you know, um, each group that comes through has uh, different opinions about how things should be. We're very interested in, in what the students whether it's AS or uh, this particular group are interested in seeing as a uh, improvement style of VISTA in particular. If you, if you involve students and you, you, you have them as part of that whole development process, then you have a more collaborative decision-making process and thus you can actually um, implement the master plan in, a, in an appropriate way that involves the community that's, that's really um, a stakeholder here, the students.